Hey church, uh, I want to speak about biblical counseling for a moment and some opportunities coming up. Uh, many of you know we're doing a sermon series right now uh, dealing with Old Testament narratives and coming at uh, kind of modern problems. Mm -hmm. um, it's, really a, it's really rooted in biblical counseling and a biblical counseling approach. Um, and so uh, this opens up a bigger discussion and really a bigger opportunity for the church when it comes to uh, you yourself being trained in biblical counseling. Um, let me step back though quickly. W one of the biggest ways people always ask, how are we reaching out to the city yeah. uh, evangelistically in terms of help? And um, I, I even put this on the group me yesterday, a particular need of a woman who's in a very bad situation. And we could just give some money uh, towards those type situations that often come up. Or we can say, how do we get underneath yeah. this problem? Rather than paying someone's rent month after month, can we can we get to the source of an addiction, the source of a real uh, point of suffering yeah. And, and, yeah. and struggle in someone's life and help them out of that yeah. so that they can get a job again and ultimately worship the Lord and honor the Lord with their life? Um, Biblical counseling seeks to get to the root of people's problems and help them holistically in the yeah. most... Uh, fundamental ways and um, and we have counselors as you know in the church right now trained counselors that are already serving we want to increase that number we want our biblical counseling center to have more trained counselors yeah. to serve the city and to serve the cross church and our yeah. our members and so there's ways in which you can get trained uh, in biblical counseling and some of those are coming up soon. I'm gonna let Pastor Kent explain some of that. Yeah, and, and so one of our endeavors to do this is just to provide the training. Um, and so at the end of March and the first of April, and then I think May, and then also in June, we're gonna be having uh, three weekend trainings where Dr. Don Roy, many of you remember him from the Parenting Practicum, he's actually the IBCD Training Center Director. He has uh, graciously offered to come in for free and do uh, training for us on those three weekends. Those are on our website. You can register for those and get those dates. Uh, but what this, what this training will do <clears throat> is for those <clears throat> who want to pursue certification, it will count as that phase one training. So you would have that knocked out. But let me, let me put a pitch for everybody else. So maybe you're sitting here and you're saying, well, I don't want to get certified. I don't see myself sitting in an office behind a desk with someone. Uh, come, come. These will be a blessing. So think of it in terms of just discipleship. Dr. Don will be going through what is man? Who is man? What is sin? What is the Bible? The doctrines of God. Uh, you will be equipped to be a, a better theologian, a better Christian friend. And you will leave those uh, seminars knowing how to better help other Christians. And then for those of you who do want to pursue certification, it will, uh, you will have that phase one training completed. And you'll also receive access uh, to some materials that will count for some other things for that certification process. And one of the things that, that I've heard or that we've heard um, a, a few people bring up is you know, if I can do this on my own, because it is possible to get certified um, on your own in listening to the lectures on your own time. If I can do it on my own, why would I give three weekends to come up and do this? And I think the first thing I would say is it is really difficult to do that on your own. Uh, it took me years. Um, it's it's very difficult with a job and with with children and with other responsibilities. Uh, and most people do give up. Whereas with the with the weekend seminars, you give three weekends of your year, you interact with the speaker, you interact with other uh, believers who have the same goal, um, and it's just a much easier experience and a much more beneficial experience. And, and also Dr. Don Roy has offered to give us a fourth weekend where he will come in and do exam preparation for those of you who want to take the, the exams and get certified. He said he would do that as well. And so whether you want to pursue certification or whether you just want to be a better Christian friend, uh, these trainings are for you and you can register. Uh, the fee will be $80, uh, one-time fee of $80. 35 of that includes your workbook and all your materials. 
and the rest covers lunch. There will be lunch provided. We will not provide childcare for these, but there will be lunch, snacks, coffee, all of that. And we obviously would love to bless our speaker. Uh, if money is an issue, let us know. Uh, we do not want anyone not to do this because of money. Uh, so please, 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 please let us know. Um, so let me know if you have questions on that, and I'll let Pastor John Mark say a few more things. Yeah, well, I was I was just thinking it may be helpful, Kent, to just take a second and and explain these three phases to being certified. Yeah. So if someone wanted to move past phase one, yeah. which is what we're talking about yeah. providing, what what are these three phases? Just let's be clear yeah. with this. Yeah. So phase one, you're listening to the training, which is what we're providing. Uh, you're doing some reading and you're watching some videos. So all of you who register, you will have the, the training completed and you will also get access via a link to the videos. Uh, so outside of the reading, you will have phase one essentially completed by doing uh, these seminars. Phase two, uh, you would move into that uh, exam section where you would uh, take two exams, a theological exam and a counseling exam. And that's the part that, that ends it for most people. Uh, the exams are long, um, but they are open book. And again, Dr. Don Roy has said that he is willing to come in and basically give us everything you need uh, to complete those exams. And he'll walk us through every question, tell us how to answer them, um, and, and, and we'll be able to complete that much more easily through that. And then phase three, which I'm is... I'm sure you and myself would be willing yes, to help people with, yes, with that as well. Yeah, we, we definitely would. And then phase three, you would move into a, a time of personal counseling where you would uh, counsel for 50 hours uh, with a ACBC certified fellow overseeing that. And that is just the golden part of the ACBC certification process where, where a seasoned man who is hundreds and thousands of hours of counseling uh, oversees your your ministry and it's just an incredible blessing um, and so think about those things pray on those things and we want to have a big turnout uh, for this training yeah and I mean for anybody who really wants to play a significant role in someone's life I mean we're talking you you could be used of the Lord to change someone's life forever yeah. their marriage forever a particular addiction or struggle they've had forever yeah. um, what an am amazingly rewarding way to serve a brother or sister in Christ um, is to help them out Absolutely. of one of their most plaguing besetting sins yeah. or some uh, horrible suffering they've yeah. gone through and you help them through that yeah. it's a very very uh, powerful way to serve the body of Christ um, and equipping and, and knowing how to handle the scriptures and do this well is, yeah. is part of that. Um, let me just say one, one last thing here. Uh, just for those of you who are very interested in this, okay, um, keep listening for one minute. Uh, I was speaking to a dean of a, of a seminary, Reformed Baptist uh, Seminary, yesterday. And uh, he let me know that uh, he's aware of our church and aware of our ministry and, and aware of this opportunity and what we're doing with the counseling. And he said that this could count for seminary, master's level, mm -hmm. seminary credit, uh, that it would be free. I mean, you're, you're doing what we just explained here, and you're getting also master's level credit through that, that that, that is an avenue or a possibility. We, could, we can work that out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's additional for those of you interested in that. Um, won't apply to everybody, but for some of you that may be may be helpful. Uh, guys, see us if you have questions about this. Hopefully this gives some clarity yeah. uh, to the counseling. Uh, blessings. Blessings.